Yes. Yes. Number three. Uh, All right, simplified operation. Uh, let me see. A, air metering force. You want the lights off? No. I'm fine with the lights off. I'm going to pull it. Yeah. Makes the lines look more crisp. So, chamber A. Makes it easier to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to sleep, I can, I can talk differently. Regulated air inlet from the impact tube. Chamber A, right here. Regulated air inlet. <laughs> Air inlet from impact tubes. Impact tubes. Those impact tubes, there's a bunch of little tubes. I'll show you on uh, fuel injection. Do fuel injection next week? Man, we're moving quick. And uh, the RSA fuel injection system, it has a bunch of them. You'll see those. It's crazy because the lab is moving slow. Chamber A. This is a positive, a positive. It's chamber A. Chamber A. Knew I should have wrote it. Just trying to save time. See world. Uh, this is a positive pressure. Pressure and tens and tens. I'll just does. Uh, to open, I get paid by the word. Open. <laughs> The poppet valve. I'm curious now that you say that. How much do you make per word? <laughs> How much do I make per word? Yeah. Like about a dollar. Yeah. Probably a dollar. Hey. How many words do I write a night? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe 10 cents. <laughs> <laughs> a dollar? Is that why it's always therefores in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I get paid by the letter. There is a springeth in stall. <laughs> Spring. Stalled in. Better right chamber. Chamber A, because I just put A, to open, to open the poppet. Valve at idle speeds. Why? Because there isn't enough air. There's not enough air flowing. Uh, that is correct. There's not enough air flowing past either the impact tubes or the venturi to have any sort of air metering force. Well, that and also you need fuel inside. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Where am I at? One, two. I feel like I just moved. Two. Oh, there it is. Okay. Chamber B. Chamber with B. That is, uh, I don't know. I have regulated air. I'm just going to go with it. All right. It's not really regulated, it just is. Regulated, but I get a dime for that word. Air inlet from Venturi. From Venturi. So this is a negative. This is a negative pressure. Or suction. Suction. And tends to assist. And we'll get rid of the tens. Assists. <laughs> um, A. Assists A to open poppet valve. To open. Do you want me to write chamber? No. <laughs> yeah. no you owe me a dime. <clears throat> <laughs> I 
Idle Spring. So at, where were you at over there, Mike? You're, you're keeping up with me? Yeah. Nice, all right. Uh, at idle, there is insufficient AMF, which is air metering force. So a spring is added to hold the poppet off its seat enough to get idle fuel. So at idle, there is insufficient air metering force AMF. Ooh. So a spring. A spring is added, is added to hold poppet valve off its seat. Enough to get idle fuel. Yeah. Well, we had a committee, and we all decided, I don't know. I don't know, because a stop and it just don't close it all the way, right? That would have been, but there's obviously a reason that I don't know about. What well, were uh, idle cutoff, right? Idle cutoff, yeah. Back. I thought about that one, so yeah, now we'll go with that. But the other one, I don't think that idle cutoff works that way. It actually just sets off the fuel, so it's like they could have done it that way on the PR58, according to the drawing. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four. Automatic mixture control. <coughs> Valve. Why not? All right. So let's see. Um, one can be can be installed. Installed in the installed can be installed in the uh, line from impact tube. I like in the impact tube line. Let's go in the line from the impact tube from impact tube, and that's the PR58 style. Right, everybody follow what I'm. Right. Can be installed in the line from the impact tube. So yeah. this is in the impact tube line where this AMC is. Yeah, that's the PR. Yes, the PR. Yeah. That's this one, PR58. Yeah. Uh, and Benno, show me on the PF5. Right there. Yes. Yep, in, that's, that's in the impact that's line. Yep. That's air. Are you? Okay. Okay. So this will require, if you're going to do it that way, this will require, anybody know what it's going to require? An air bleed. Yep. The use of an air bleed. Between A and B. Right, because you got to have flow. If you don't have flow, then an orifice doesn't do you any good. Because AMC is just an adjustable orifice. Yep. And if you don't have flow, you can make the orifice as big or as little as you want. It's all the same. It doesn't matter. Yep. Or, or between, talking about AMC, uh, between the, between, I can just put, a and B between those two chambers, as in the PS5. So uh, this one is the AMC. In this case, restricts. or opens an air bleed. Can you go back to the PS5 picture? Yep. 
All right, so here's the, the one here. And this is the best drawing I have, sorry about that. But here we can look over here, I'll clean that up. So is the PS7, Oops. Never mind. I didn't want to do that, that was not my intention. Okay. That says PS7, is that, are they just barely similar in the way that they do that? Yeah, it's another way of doing it. Okay. All right, so here we have a bellows, mm -hmm. bellows control, potato chip bag. So when we go up in altitude, it's going to expand. expand. And then when it expands, this is an inverted needle right here. So this needle will go down. The needle comes down, opening up these two chambers, allowing, so here's A, pressure, B, a venturi suction. So this is going to block off any movement from A. So you're not going to bleed out A, right? But we go up in altitude. This expands, and the further up we go, the more that starts to open, open, open. And so A, rather than filling up the air, rather than filling up chamber A and pressing on the diaphragm, a little bit more, a little bit just kind of squeaks around and goes out B, B. to B, which is suction, which is like dumping it off. Okay. And so two things happen. One, you're going to lose effectiveness in A because yeah, bleeding, bleeding, off, bleeding, bleeding off pressure. You're going to lose effectiveness in B because... You're, ble you're losing you're suction. You're losing so there we go. All right, and so where is that going to go? It's just going to, well, this one's got it off to the side, but as long as you have it plumbed, here's chamber A right here. So well, that's kind of, and here's B. So A comes around somehow over here. Here's A. Oh, I see. B is right. Well, it's in there somehow. I'd have to color it in. But hopefully you got the idea on that one. Or... What do we have? Um, so this is not an automatic mixture control here. It's just a mixture control. But it does the same thing, same concept. But this is pilot controlled. So when the pilot says, hey, I need to lean things out a little bit, reaches over and grabs the, and this is in your bonanza. All right, so I load the red knob and I want to lean it out. I pull it back a little bit. I'm just going to pull this back a little bit, yep. right? And so that's going to mean pressure, rather than being sealed in here, is going to leak out a little bit here. So now A, effectiveness drops. And where B was happy and sucking hard on that uh, diaphragm, well, now it's not because he just put pressure in there. It's like, oh, okay. So less, less pressure, less suction. You have less A, you have less B, you have less air metering less force, air metering which force. tends to close the poppet, leaning things out. Less fuel. Less fuel. In, in either case, it's the same bellows, right? In both those. They're both bellows, they both work the same way. Uh, point V, air metering force. or AMF, is what? A plus B. Okay, air. A, A is air metering force. So somebody's going to ask. B, fuel metering force. So one C, chamber C is metered fuel pressure. It is obviously no longer a suction. It is a positive. Is it a positive pressure but works against D? It is a positive pressure. 
that works against D, right? Okay. It is held constant. Held constant throughout the entire range of the carburetor. of the carb. By what does it? What function? What component keeps it constant? It's a discharge yeah. valve. Pressure relief valve. Pressure yeah, relief. By the, what's the proper name? Discharge nozzle. Discharge nozzle. All right, then we got D. D is what? Unmetered. Unmetered fuel pressure. All right, it po a positive pressure. Positive pressure that tends to open or close? Close. Close. Positive pressure that tends to close the poppet valve. And then E. E is? Fuel pump pressure. In the pressure? Yep. I'm going to call it fuel pump pressure. We can say inlet pressure too. So, positive pressure. Um, that does it tend to open or close the poppet valve? Close. I hear crickets. Close. Does not affect close. the poppet valve. We should have said that. Neither. <laughs> Free pop it. It's really. All right. Uh, sorry. And it's about 9 to 14 PSI. So then fuel metering force. D one C. Is D minus C. <coughs> oh boy, there's a lot to write. <coughs> no, what I'm looking at. Yeah. All that stuff I said, now I'm going to write it. All right, C. really like you guys to write all this. Operation of air and fuel metering forces. Want to go through the whole written thing here? Yes. yes. Okay. This is helpful? Yeah. That's all I care. I don't want you to do it if you don't want to do it. But if you want to do it. Everybody caught up? Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about kind of in written slow motion what's happening. So here we go. So as air enters the carb, as air enters, enters the carb, air that is proportional to velocity hits the impact tubes, or enters and goes down, hits impact, hits impact tubes. I just think of them as little straws sticking out in the air. I think on the uh, RSA fuel injection, eh, there's like 
and there's four, four little straws. You know the kind of little red straws you get to stir your coffee? Yeah. They're a little bigger than that. But you know the straws you get at McDonald's? It's, they're a lot smaller than that. <laughs> so somewhere in between. Those are like the good ones. I like the sipping one. Yeah, sewer pipes. I, yeah. Okay. Not that I've ever sucked on a sewer pipe. I don't know. This. This higher pressure enters chamber A of regulating unit. This this higher, it's a little bit higher. So not as opposed to the suctions, so this higher pressure. Higher pressure enters enters chamber A. Chamber A. Um, enters number J. And I will say we will we will no will will doesn't work yeah we will give this a random value of one it's not really random so i'll leave out the word random i gave it a value of one one what it's one don't worry about it okay it's one no, it's a, like one pressure. It's one pressure. The weird word? What? From the video of the guy with all the weird, just the random words that you showed us last Oh, yeah. The oh, the spurbing bearing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was not, he's the, uh, Oh, I just flux, said the flux defibrillator? Yeah. yeah. What was that? Encabulator. Turbo encabulator. Oh, turbo encabulator. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> These guys think I should memorize the whole turbo encabulator speech when 309 starts. Yeah. Just walk <laughs> in and start yes. going off. Yes. If you don't understand any of this, you shouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> make sure you write all of this down. I actually think I have that transcript. I could put it right here and just have like 309 up there and like freeze it and just start reading off of it. I could do that. That would be hilarious. You'd need to post it on your YouTube. Prank. Yeah. I prank my students. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, I forgot I have it. I could just start reading it. Just kind of scared. Yeah. All right, get your paper out. Start writing it. Start writing it down. Get the ding alarm. Get all serious. I don't see you writing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to write it. Write this down. Ding alarm. Ding alarm. Two G. Two G. Two G. Two G. Two G. Two G. Okay, we're off topic. We're way too off topic. I know, but I'm having fun with it. As, <laughs> as air flows through. Air flows through the venturi. Uh, low pressure is created, right? Low pressure is created. Got the low pressure is created. Uh, this lower pressure, this lower pressure enters which one? Chamber B. B, all right, you guys are doing it. There's chamber B, and we'll give this this a value of two, two, point two five, because it's suction, right? Suction is uh, not as much uh, as no. pressure, so value of point two five. Um, technically, it'd be absolute because it's a vacuum, but. It still has doing work, and so we'll assign the work value of 0.25 units. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, one, two, three, uh, three. So the the differential pressure, because it is a differential pressure, because one's a pressure, one's a suction. Differential pressure of A plus B is air metering force. Air, if you can read that, wow, better than me. Force. AMF. AMF, air metering force. This force opens or closes poppet valve? Opens. Okay. Opens. 
pop it valve. And in this example, what is my force? It is A plus B, which is 1.25. I made these numbers up. Don't carry them off into like, no, that's a one, that's a two. These are numbers that I made up to try and do this example. I, maybe I made them up. Maybe I pulled them out of a book. I don't know. It's been a while. All right. One, two, three, four. Unmetered fuel. Unmetered fuel is delivered by the fuel pump. By the fuel pump at a pressure of a pressure of about we'll see, 9 to 14 PSI into chamber A. I'm sorry, not E, chamber E. We're good? E. I told you it'd be a lot to write. So the air metering force, air metering force opens the poppet, allowing the unmetered fuel into chamber D. I shouldn't really call it unmetered because really that's, it's more like fuel pressure, but uh, air metering force opens poppet, opens poppet, allowing See, I didn't put the word valve in there. It's saving time now. It cost me money. <coughs> Allowing fuel pump pressure. Fuel pump pressure to enter D. So D, I'll do this, pressure in D. Pressure in D. D is less than E because, because why? It restricts the poppet valve. Nice, because the poppet acted as a restriction. pressure in D tends to close or open the poppet okay uh, pressure in D pushes diaphragm diaphragm towards C towards C which acts to close the poppet. Uh, meter fuel pressure in which chamber? C. Metered, yep, metered in C. Uh, meter fuel pressure in C. Oh, I should say meter fuel pressure enters C. Enters C. That makes more sense. Fuel uh, meter uh, fuel pressure enters C. I like that. Um, let me see. Pressure in C is less than D because why? The main meter. Yep. Because fuel passed through the fuel control unit. The FCU. 
and pressure in C is now regulated by the discharge nozzle. Yes, definitely. Uh, this pressure is constant at 5. We'll say PSI. Uh, I want to say that the PS5 is closer to 5, but the PR58 was closer to 6. But it's roughly 5 or 6. Like yeah. 6 to 5. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'm sure in my notes somewhere I'll have it exact. I just don't remember. Because, you know, why would I remember that? Yeah. All right, this is a big point. Because, because and therefore, <laughs> uh, the poppet, um, I'm, I have wants here, but I should put needs, needs to be in equilibrium. In other words, a poppet valve just can't slam all the way to the right or all the way to the left. You know, you got air metering force comes in, wants to move it to the right. You can't just have it go all the way to the right. Go all the way to the right, then that's just wide open. The fuel comes dumping through, and then you have too much fuel, and then you flood the engine. So, and you can't let the fuel come in and override the air metering force because then it closes it. So you have an engine that just goes, you know, I'm going to do that again. Um, does that count as annoying? Um, because the poppet needs to be in equilibrium, um, D, D must be, must be at 6.25. We'll say PSI. Okay, why is that? Because we had A is, A was how much? 5 PSI. Uh, what, did I, what did I say A was? Okay. And I said B equals, and I said C equals, okay, so all of these things move pop it open, right? Everybody follow that? Yes. So in other words, if I need to add an equal and opposite force to hold it at exactly that position, then D must equal how much? Than 6.25. If it's higher than 6.25, it will close it. Close up. And then we're going to start to lose fuel, and then the engine's going to start to die. So it has to be equal. equal. It has to be equal. Has to be equal. equal to 6.25. Yeah. So, but you said the pump was at a range from 9 to something. Yep. So that would change A and B. All right. It has to be equilibrium. Let's go back to this. 9 to 14. Let's go to this one. Thank you for doing that. <coughs> Stop it. OK. So if I said this is 9 to 14, mm -hmm. I said this is 1 going that way. Yep. This is 0. 0.25 going that way. I said this was five. 5 going that way. The 9 to 14 has how much effect on anything? No. Zero. Zero effect. So I've got 6.25, 6.25 going this way, right? Yep. And it's going to keep going that way until it hits the stop and is wide open or something counteracts it. And so D is how much? 6. In this case, it would be 6.25. It's literally going to open. So let's just say we're, we suddenly had 6.25 and D was at 5. Follow? Yeah. Um, no, okay, so because it's always backwards and I'm looking at it here, so I'm just pointing backwards and I don't want to do that. Um, so if, if uh, D was at 5 and we did have 6.25 on the other side, 
then what happens is the poppet valve is going to start to open. And then as it opens, that orifice right here in this area gets bigger. And so nine, the 9 to 14 starts leaking in here, and this pressure starts going up. So it's, it's, it's opening, it's opening, it's open. More pressure comes in, and as soon as it gets to 6.25, it just stops right there. It's just going to hold it. Equalizes. Equalizes and holds. Now it's happy. I would never say that. Yeah, yes. Um, E is kind of just, it's it's where it takes, source is the word I was going to use, yeah. It's the source for for D. It's like a reservoir of 9 to 14 pressure. It's a reservoir, reservoir, source. In theory, I could say it's 114 PSI. It wouldn't matter. It's just that the... Orifice there at the needle would be just so much smaller. But it would still, so the 9 to 14 is, doesn't even matter. It's just some pressure. That makes sense. Good, it was supposed to. It's crazy. This seems to be making more sense than the other one. So D is 6.25. And it's in equilibrium. All right. What do I have here? D, V, I, I. Oops. Here. Um, oh, yeah, so I, I, everybody's hopefully not lost. So let's go with that differential, differential pressure of D. Minus C is fuel metering force. In our example, in our example, fuel metering force is six point two five. This note didn't make any sense. 6.25 minus, oh yeah, I even have a big, like what the hell did you want to write this for? That was stupid. Um, actually, just think it through. 6.25 minus the five, which equals 1.25, which equals fuel metering force. And what was our air metering force? It was 1.25, yep. There we go. Just a typo there. And if we remember, air metering force was also 1.25. Yay! We did it! All right. Here's where it gets fun. Let's add throttle. You don't have to write it all. I can just tell you what it says. All right, um, so what I just did uh, didn't start at idle. It kind of started at a cruise, if you will. So now we're going from a cruise to a little bit higher pressure. So um, add throttle, so increased, increased incoming air. Hits impact tubes. In tips, um, increases pressure, which increases pressure in A, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll say let's add 0.25 for fun. So that will equal 1.25, because before it was just one in chamber A, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll add 0.25, so now we say chamber A is now 1.25. So increased airflow, increased airflow through the Venturi, 
increases velocity and decreases the pressure in B. So increased airflow um, through Venturi. Venturi, um, I'll abbreviate, increases suction. There, we just cut out a whole sentence. Increases suction. Um, let's add 0.25, just, I know, um, for, which equals 0.5 now. So it went up to 0.5. Oops, in B. Increases suction in B. Follow so far? Yes. Okay, so now we have an air metering force, AMF, equals how much now? 1.75. So, second ago, fuel metering force was 1.25. So, now I got 1.75. So, pop valve is going to do what? Open. 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 Okay. So, let's see. Air meter, uh, this opens. This opens the poppet. More. So now more fuel enters D. Um, let me see. Which, I don't have a thing to put which, which, I'll just leave it that. I'll get there. More fuel now enters D. Um, oh, more fuel and uh, more fuel to enter eight, nine. Hang on. Looks like I'm missing a sentence there. All right. Go from the top, from my head. Okay, more fuel enters D. Um, this pushes um, back on the diaphragm. Well, more fuel, hang on. More fuel enters D. I want this to make sense to you. Increasing pressure. Pressure in D. Right? Um, Oh, I know I did that way. Okay. Metered fuel. That's actually unmetered. Sorry. So, fuel from D uh, flows past metering jets. Flows past metering jets. Metering jets. Um, to C, right? Um, C, which remains constant. It is constant because, remember, more fuel is flowing out of D into C. C is getting more fuel. What's that going to want the pressure to do in C? It's going to want to increase it. It's going to want to increase it, but it's not. It's constant because... The discharge, discharge nozzle. Because discharge, discharge nozzle will open more. Will open more to keep C at 5 psi. What happens to that fuel that just dumped out of the nozzle? Increase air flow. Increase fuel flow. Went into the engine. It's a damn good thing because what just happened a second ago? Throttle open. Throttle open, let more air in. <laughs> see how the whole thing worked? That's crazy. I know. Uh, let's see. It's so simple. Uh, to keep, see if we can keep this point right here. Um, to keep the pop it, to keep pop it in equilibrium. The pop it will close. Pop it 
Well, I don't want to say close. So it opened up. We'll say yeah, close back. The poppet will close uh, to a point <laughs> to keep pressure in D. In D at a new PSI of 6.75. Why? Because A was 1.5, right? And B was 0.5, and C was 5. So if we add that up, we have... This is 1.25. That is 125. 125, thank you. That would make more sense. So that would be... 6.75. So 6.75. So A, B, and C is 6.75, so D also has to be 6.75. Equilibrium. I'm not going to write all this, but we can do the same thing I did here. We close the throttle. Close the throttle a little bit. Yeah, just everything goes in reverse. You lose a little bit of air metering force, which air metering force starts to work its way closed. It starts to work its way closed. It cuts off fuel in D. Fuel in D cuts off. So now the pressure in D equalizes out to what A and B is. All right. That wasn't so bad, I hope. No. Not terrible. Great right. sleeping. I actually understand these more than I do the last one. Yeah, they, it oh, makes sense. Just great, great sleeping. Now let me go and start the coilovers, apparently. Huh? I'm going to go install some coilovers now, apparently.